Our main goal is to provide families whatever it is that they need. Catholic Charities Child and Family Services provides a range of services from residential programs for children in foster care and in the mental health system. We provide treatment foster care. We provide international adoptions. We provide special education schools, both campus-based on our campuses as well as in the local schools. We are also involved in a wide array of outpatient and community behavioral health, that being in-home services, school-based services, and clinic-based services from from Baltimore all the way out to Cumberland. Some of the kids that have struggled the worst when I first met them have gone on to be very successful. I think one thing that helps Catholic Charities and Child and Family Services is the ability to find not only the divine within each of us, but to see the potential within each of us. Keeping families together is the common thread across all of our work. I've had the personal experience of, of having a son in the special education system and sitting on that other side of the table uh, it's really helped to develop my professional belief that, that we need to support families uh, in a different way. The Child and Family Services part of Catholic Charities is very unique in their uh, family provider partnership. They were actually the pioneers in the field of getting families involved um, in their programs and in treatment. We have families that sit on all of our committees whose voices are welcomed in every situation. When we're interacting with families that we're working with, uh, we're, we're, we're seeing a family who's struggling, who needs some support, who, uh, who, who potentially needs some resources to help them to be successful, but we're also seeing families that love their kids dearly and want to be successful, and, and uh, sometimes it's just making the right connections or, or, or helping to support them in the right way or give them a break when they need a break. Everybody puts forth 100% all the time to work with families. If there's an issue, someone's on the phone with that family right away. Without them, I don't think I'd be sitting here today with a smile on my face. I, I truly do not. I believe that, you know, just the what they bring to the table for me, it's invaluable in helping me raise my child with special needs. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, Christ is speaking to the disciples. And he was saying to them, I was sick, you didn't come to see me. I was naked, you didn't clothe me. I was hungry, you didn't feed me. Uh, but yet you say you love me. And what this says to me is we all have a duty to give back. And it also speaks to the mantra, to cherish the divine within. It was a real paradigm shift when we brought in uh, the, the partnership with Catholic Charities because as opposed to being very reactionary and um, you know identifying a handful of kids that need supports, it's looking at the totality of kids who need supports and then we now have um, personnel within the building that can, can meet those needs and we can provide those supports. We're committed to paying attention to research and paying attention to data because we know that that's better for families. The earlier we can intervene with children and families, the better off everybody's gonna be. If every child has the opportunity to be born healthy, to uh, have a good education, to, to, to have options in their lives, I think that begins to level the playing field. Catholic Charities' goal is to help every child reach their God-given potential. Catholic Charity does go the extra mile in every aspect.